This one is the, the very light. I sketched this on the 22nd of December and I called it the hand of him. So this is the hand of my dad that I drew. Um, and at the time he uh, passed away shortly after I, or uh, right before I made this actually. So it's a hand that comes out of the water. So that was the hand of my dad. The hands, in my opinion, are very hard to draw. 
This is one of the only drawings that I have left that um, that have text in them. I used to do that a lot. I used to draw a lot and then I would put text in it. So I will do my best to translate it as good as I can. But it will not be translated exactly because I'm not a translator <laughs> from uh, Dutch to English. So I made this. 
these are just some drawings that have different shapes, different colors, and I was just experimenting with some stuff. My dad always wanted to get one of these tattoos, not in these colors, but in different colors. And um, I was working on a motorcycle design for him because he wanted me to draw tribals in the shape of flames for his motorcycle, the tank that he was about to uh, paint. That never happened, but I still have the, I still drew down the, the designs and different things I had in mind. So these are just some random sketches. stuff. Some colors. Just so coloring pencil. Okay. So this is another one that I made. Looks like a little forest guy. I really wanted to continue with shapes. So in 2012, I made a camera, or I made a video with my old camera. I was lying in bed, and I actually had the camera on my chest so that I could talk into the microphone. And I had my legs up, and I was holding a piece of paper against my legs, and I was drawing. from, but I think I saw this on the cover of a magazine. 
magazine or a book or something like that. And that's when I drew this. Oh yeah, here it is. Um, at first sight. we have this drawing. At the time, I watched a movie called Seven Years in Tibet with Brad Pitt. And because I was busy sketching, I decided to make a drawing of the front cover of the movie. So this is Brad Pitt, and this is a monk. <laughs> I never finished it, as you can see it. And I got a little lost here while drawing the hair. <laughs> hair is pretty complicated when it's hanging like that and you don't have a lot of experience drawing. <laughs> so yeah, seven years in Tibet. And now we have this one. I don't even know what this is. It looks like a stick. I have no memory of drawing this whatsoever, but I do know it's mine because I can see it from the style of drawing. I think I probably just drew a stick in my aquarium or something. <laughs> and then this one is something that I saw on um, like a card that you can send to someone. And originally this was in beautiful colors. This is supposed to be um, a monk in a boat. That was a silhouette. And then there was this beautiful, beautiful sunset. So the whole lake was like red with yellow. But since I didn't have any coloring pencils at the time, um, and didn't really know how to color with colors in general, I decided to keep it black and white, so, yeah. <laughs> some other mandala type of drawings and some tribals. Another mandala. August 2000. that it's me again. I always put my face um, on drawings. I've noticed in the past. They all look different though. They don't look like me. <laughs> so yeah. And this is another one that I made as a, just for myself. It's like a coloring template, but I hand sketched this as well. in March 2005, Pinocchio. And then this is um, another sketch from 2004. Not too long after I got into sketching, I found that I had a problem drawing noses and lips, as you can see in this character. And this is... Uh, famous, uh, famous Dutch writer that I wrote, that I drew from the back of the cover of a book. So I made this in January 2004. It's pretty cool, the lines. So 
yeah, this is a drawing when I was 15 years old. Or at least I attempted to draw myself. And I had a nose ring at the time because I was heavily gothic. <laughs> someone.